Well, have you ever been reading articles about local link building and then you're thinking, well, everybody keeps saying the same thing, but how do I actually get the links? What, what really works? Because sometimes, believe it or not, the information you'll read online is just rehashed by a writer who knows nothing about SEO, never done it. They're just rewording something else that's there. And so what happens? You perpetuate a lot of non-expert information. Next thing you know, it sounds good on paper, but nobody can make sense of it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just go through a couple simple scenarios where you can find local links. And first we'll start with sponsorships and then we'll move on to looking at resource pages. Both methods are pretty simple. Uh, the only thing it takes is Google and preferably a, a tool if you have one like Ahrefs, SimRush, whatever your preference is. I'll use Ahrefs because that's our go-to, but let's get into it. All right. So the first thing we did, very simple search, just in URL sponsors plus Nashville. So we could pull up some Nashville area sites. You see one of the first things that pops up here is a sports league. So if we open that and take a look at it, you can see here's a list of businesses that have sponsored this. And sports leagues are, are generally a very, very easy win. They want your money. They're local. As long as you give them your money and you don't have something that might be offensive, they'll generally take it and be happy and you'll get a link. So option number one. Now, what you can do to expand upon this, you found the first sports site, but you could actually just grab each one of these pages that's a sponsor, drop that into Ahrefs, and find the additional sponsorship links they may have. Uh, next thing here, you can see Nashville sites. It's just another sponsorship page pulled up. Same process. You just grab this list of URLs, put those in Ahrefs, and, and see where else they have links from. By this point, you'll probably have at least 10 good sponsorship opportunities that you can go and, and get for yourself. So for the third one, same process, just using this basic search a little further down the page, another list of, list of sponsors. And so what we did here, just as I said, we grabbed the, the linked URL, we put it in here, set it to do follow, and then added a couple filters for the referring page URL so that it contains donor, resource, or sponsor. That just helps us filter down to the links that, that are probably a resource or a donor link. For local SEO, either one of those would be great. You, know, you could just filter it by using Nashville in the URL search or other things like nearby cities, 615 by counties, different ways that people might name their website. Either way, we like to do it this way so we can narrow it down quickly to the ones that we're after. And so when we do that, we can see you know, we have a couple options. I recognize this one right away because Brentwood is just outside of Nashville. And so if we open up the next page, Brentwood Wrestling Sponsors, here we have another extensive list of sites that we can go and see what else they've sponsored. The reason you do it this way versus just using the search operators is this will actually turn up a lot more local websites uh, because with local SEO, geo relevancy is the primary thing that you're after. So if the site's not really authoritative, that's okay. But as a result, when you're searching for these in Google, you may not find some of these sites, but they're great local opportunities. So by following this approach, you can basically build a list of hundreds or thousands of, of hyper-local websites. And since they're not on the first, second page for it, a lot of these sites are not contacted. So they'll be really happy to hear from you and to take your sponsorship money. Now, the next way that you can find these uh, this is just on Zip Sprout, but if you search for something like sponsorship opportunities plus your city, generally Zip Sprout will have a short little page like this that pops up that demos a few of the sponsorship opportunities that they have rather. And so we just scroll down the list, grabbed Nashville Med Week. That's good if you're in the medical space. You can see here there's again a pretty extensive list of sponsors. We recognize Cardinal Digital Marketing as a marketing company. They're probably out there doing a lot of link building. So let's see, same thing. Come over here, drop it in, filter it to donor or sponsor. Uh, in this one, we left out resource because they had a lot of pages where the resource falls in the URL, but it was not a resource page. And so it, it just simplified it a little bit to do this. So say we wanted to stick to the Nashville theme, which is where we found that. So we just looked through the list and then boom, here we already found another one, nationalmusicguide.com. Same thing, you open it up, you find who they're linking to, you keep building your list. You do this for a few hours and you're gonna end up with a pretty extensive list. Uh, but 
your competitors won't won't have gotten all of these because they didn't go through all this work. They just used the search operator and went to the first 10. All right. Now, does this work everywhere? Let's take a look at Chicago. Same thing, Chicago. We just pulled up the same kind of generic search for Zip Sprout, scrolled down the list till we found one that looked good, and then we opened up chicagoplays.com. Again, long list of sponsors. And we looked for one, one of the sponsors that has Chicago in the name, so it would be a local organization, Chicago Community Trust. We grabbed that one, brought it over here. Same thing, filtered it. You can see there's 84 referring domains that they have that meet one of those criteria. And so if you go through this list, you're going to find other Chicago themed websites that have sponsorship opportunities. Now, if you don't want to just do sponsored links, and I recommend that you don't, it's always good to diversify in SEO. The other thing that you want to look at is resource pages. So for local SEO, resource pages are golden and there's really no reason not to get them. Uh, it's very natural and sometimes it will send referral traffic. If you are listed on a, on a closely related business's website as a resource and they have a good audience, you're going to see business from it besides the SEO value. Here's an example of that. So if we jump over here, we take pretty basic search in URL resources, pet friendly housing plus Chicago. So we can pull up some Chicago sites with pet friendly housing. We'll just go ahead and open up the very first one that shows up. Looks like it's a little pit bull rescue website. And so if we scroll down, we can see there's a lot of, a lot of outgoing links on this page to organizations. And so when you have several links on a page, one of the fastest ways to do it is just come over to Ahrefs, put the exact URL here so it sorts it by that, and then you'll, want to, you'll come to outgoing links. You can grab this full list of outgoing links and export it, and then you can import that into batch analysis. The reason you would do this is because you'll be able to quickly see if the sites that you're looking at have any referring domains or not. If some of them have you know, one referring domain, not a high likelihood you're going to find a great link opportunity, but once they get up here, 5, 7, 10, 50, more opportunities. The next thing that I like to do, and this isn't necessary, but it just helps with geo-relevancy if you're not trying to cover more than one location, is look for the URLs that are specific. So you can see here some of these are broad, State Farm, Nationwide, USAA, but as we get further down the list, they become specific. So apartments.com, Chicago, Trulia, the Chicago page. And so you can take these Chicago specific pages and just do a link intersect. And so in this case, I went to the bottom, I grabbed rental ads, it had the lowest amount of links, and then I grabbed a couple competitors. And what you can see here is, this is just a link intersect. There's 35 opportunities here that they have that our fictional client rental ads does not have. And so if we just start going down this list and looking, the first thing we notice is a couple with more than one site linked are EDU sites. And so if we take a look at those, here's the first one. It's a subdomain of northwestern.edu. But if you go down, they list multiple search sites. And so if you have a client who has something closely related to housing in Chicago, this would be a, a good site to potentially reach out to. Uh, same thing here. We look at number two. It's another college. And this one has... a you know, five or six listed. But what I noticed on this one is they have Zumper down here, but they also have a link to an article on Zumper. And so this one is, I'm renting my first apartment, what should I do? Guide to housing, neighborhood map and information guide. So in this case, even if you're not a direct rental listing, but you have data or information that could be specific to, you know, safest neighborhoods, you have crime data, you have cost of housing data, walkability, anything that would be closely related and beneficial, it seems like that would be a viable pitch here because this is just a blog post about what to do when you're renting first apartment and it's from 2015, so it's nine years old. I would think that something's changed in the past nine years. Um, and so maybe you could even offer them a, a better version of what's here, or you could just do some of the related stuff. Uh, either way, if you find multiple opportunities like this, you're gonna pick some of them up. Uh, with resource pages, especially on actual college websites, you're going to have to get a high volume of outreaches to get a, a decent amount of links generally, but it's worthwhile because you have legitimate resource links from college, not the scholarship links and the other kind of shady ways people go about getting links on these weird student subdomains and stuff. So pays off. It's worthwhile. 
will take some time and effort, but you can use the process we've went over to find multiple pages and multiple opportunities to get these links. So the last one that we'll look at here, this is not a resource page, but it popped up in the link intersect. And it was kind of interesting because it is very centric to Chicago still. It's actually pricing by the map based on the location. And so you can see this article too was from 2015. And so a lot's changed since 2015. If you had a newer version of this exact same data or very similar data, and you presented it in a much more visually pleasing or an active way, you could probably reach out to the site, share the data with them and get them to update it or revise it if they don't have something new. And so this one, while the whole website is not Chicago centric, the topic is. And so if you look at link building relevancy as an ABC score or F, F being don't get that link, this would definitely be a solid B opportunity because it doesn't have site-wide relevancy, but the topic is extremely relevant to Chicago. And if you're related to the real estate industry in particular, then this is just, this would be a really relevant link that you would be able to get. And there's kind of a clear path to that because this is outdated. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of how you can actually go about finding local link opportunities and getting link placements. And the good news is a lot of these, you'll have better response rates if they're hyper local sites, especially if you have like the suburb cities like Brentwood versus Nashville, the sports team, they're always going to want sponsorship. Or if you have a really good resource, you're going to have a good success rate. If you mix that with a large prospecting list, which is easy to build using this technique, you're going to be able to secure a lot of local link placements and you're going to exceed your local competition in doing so because a lot of them will stop after the first five or 10 and they don't really go much further down the rabbit hole. So uh, in a time where relevancy and location are, are even more important, this is a good way to just continue to build that out. And by the time your competitors recognize it and go to catch up, they're going to have a long way to go and a lot of work to do.